Howdy, welcome back to Ed Reviews Anything, almost. Uh, today I'm gonna to take a look at the Acasis uh, magnetic enclosure for the 2230 SSD drive. Uh, Acasis reached out to me and asked if I would review this drive for them and I said I'd be happy to, so they sent me a drive and it's currently listed on their website at $19.99. And uh, the um, drive that I got to go with it, I bought off of Amazon. It's the uh, Sabrent Rocket uh, uh, 4.0 MVME, M.2 VME. That was easy for me to say. The Sabrent drive is one terabyte, and this uh, enclosure, of course, is designed to go with the um, magnetic uh, mounting on the uh, iPhone and to allow you to uh, do ProRes video without uh, having a big complicated setup. So let's open her up and see what we got. We'll just open up the uh, drive first. And it's in a nice little metal case to protect it. So there we go. So we've got the one terabyte uh, Sabrent uh, SSD card. And let's set up up with the enclosure. There we go. They don't let me have sharp objects too much, but I sneaked this one by. So now that I got rid of the trash, I've retrieved the little uh, connection cable to go with the uh, enclosure at the same time which I also got off Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. And let's see here what we got. Oh, well, they included a cable for it. So there you go. I didn't even need to order one off Amazon. Got the two little, uh, well, actually one grommet and one spare to uh, lock the uh, drive into the enclosure and the thermal pads there. And then our enclosure itself and appears to be a magnetic ring that goes with it. So uh, we'll take a look at that. And we'll just try both of these cables. This is the one that came with the enclosure and this is the one I got off Amazon. So we'll see, I'm assuming theirs is probably going to be a little more neat and work better. So we'll take a look at that. And to open the drive, now as I said, the, the Acasis drives, every one I've looked at so far, has uh, been a tool-free installation and I really like that. So this one we just uh, pop open on the end here. And there's our card um, plug-in. So we'll just plug it in. And there's our USB-C type connector. So let's uh, get our uh, SSD card out here and install it. This clips right in. And let's pull out one of the grommets and just slide it on the card right there and then press down and there you go. That's all in the world there is to it. Make sure I put this thing on in the correct direction. All right, let's see if I can hit this slot here. Okay, there we go. So, it was a little bit fiddly for me to get it in there, but it did snap back together A-OK. -okay. So uh, let's take a look at our thermal pad here. On uh, previous Acasis enclosures, they've given me a couple of different thermal pads. This appears to be just a single thermal pad. Well, actually, several little pad squares looks like. So we'll open this back up. And just put a couple of the pad squares on top of the drive. Okay. There we go. So I didn't have it in the uh, slot the first time I tried it. So um, worked fine. Looks good. So next step is let's plug this thing up to an iPhone and see how she does. So uh, getting into the speed of the drive, uh, I'd like to uh, take a look here at the uh, Blackmagic speed test. 
So as you can see uh, on the Black Magic, uh, we're running around 975 uh, megabytes per second uh, write speed and around 825 megabytes per second read speed. And that's very good. And the drive or the enclosure is rated for 10 gigabits per second. So that's about the max that you can expect out of this enclosure. So I'm pleased with that. Well, I did a couple of uh, test videos uh, using the uh, Acasis MagSafe enclosure with the uh, Sabrent uh, disc uh, card in it. And uh, the first one was a little two minute clip. And the second clip, I took Sebastian out for a walk around the neighborhood. And that one ran for 14 minutes and 21 seconds. So the little two minute clip here in my office was 11.07 gigabytes. And the uh, 14 minute clip uh, around the neighborhood was 153.8 uh, uh, gigabytes. I, don't, I think I said megabytes in that first one, I meant gigabytes. Uh, I'm so old, I remember kilobytes. So uh, there you go. So I took a look at the actual transfer speed on those files and the 11 uh, gigabyte uh, file took 13 seconds to transfer onto my regular uh, SSD that I use to edit uh, Final Cut Pro. And uh, the 153.8 or call it 154 gigabyte uh, file took uh, three minutes and one second to transfer. So that just ain't bad at all, the way I look at it. Now in terms of the uh, fit and feel of the Acasis uh, enclosure on the uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, normally when I'm out uh, doing video on the iPhone, I just hold it handheld. I don't use a, a cage or a gimbal or anything like that. And usually I'm just holding it with my thumb and my finger thusly. And I find that having the uh, Casus drive on the back there gives me one more little bit of grip there with that other finger and just feels good in my hand. So I like that. And the other thing about it is the drive is on there. The, well, the drive, the enclosure's on there. The drive's a Sabrick drive inside the enclosure, of course. But that enclosure, as you can see, is not going anywhere. It's on there very firm, and you gotta really give it a nice tug to get it off, and it snaps right on. Of course, that's, as we say, the magnetic uh, MagSafe enclosure. So, uh, and the cable is very neat. Uh, honestly, the cable could probably stand to be a centimeter shorter, but uh, yeah, it, it works just fine. So uh, no real complaints there, but uh, that's the only thing I would say. And so as you can see, when we uh, turn on the camera for uh, ProRes, it does show USB-C here. And I also like the little blue LED they've got there to indicate that it is in fact recording. So uh, that's the uh, rundown on the uh, uh, fit and feel of it on the uh, iPhone. So in conclusion, I can recommend the Acasis enclosure without hesitation. Now, once again, I will say they sent me the enclosure at no charge. I did buy the uh, SSD card to go into it. And I think that's like a hundred bucks, something like that. And for the one terabyte, I think you can get a two terabyte for uh, 220 or whatever it is. And, um, but the enclosure itself is very inexpensive. It's less than $20 and you can't argue about that. The quality of construction is great. Uh, it feels good uh, on the phone, feels good holding it uh, to do the video, and uh, has very good transfer speed. Uh, as I noted, I transferred 154 gigabytes in three minutes. So, uh, you know, I really like it and recommend it a lot. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to uh, get uh, some further information on another Acasis enclosure that I tested, uh, check this video out right up here.